I'm Ellen Bass. And I'm her niece, Sophia Khan. And we're the authors of A Cookbook Students Go Gourmet, and we are here to show you how to make crustless broccoli feta quiche. Mm. So, first of all, what we have here is a beautiful baking dish, which you can see has no crust in it. It's crustless. We have got some nonstick cooking spray. We've got some a ground black pepper and some nutmeg we're going to finish off the top with. I have one cup of Gruyere. I have about one cup of feta. Comes in a nice little tub like this at the store. Make it easy for you. And here I've got two cups of chopped um, broccoli, which I've sauteed with two tablespoons of olive oil, and I added at the very end a couple of fresh herbs that I love to pair with broccoli, one teaspoon of marjoram and one teaspoon of fresh oregano. And in addition, we've got our custard, which is three eggs and one and a quarter cups of half and half. And it's just about a minute or so with the broccoli, right? Yes, absolutely. Just about a minute just to get the, a little bit browned. Because it will cook really nicely in It will quiche. cook beautifully in the quiche. Great. Absolutely. So first thing I'm going to do so. is spray. Bam, bam, bam. Beautiful. And that helps to keep the sides for the, the eggy custardy mix from sticking. Absolutely. And then when, whenever we make quiche, we love to layer. So I'm going to put my first layer of one cup of Gruyere at the bottom. We love to use Gruyere because it's a classic quiche cheese. Um, it comes from Switzerland and it's got a lovely nutty rich um, almost sweet flavor to it. It's a great melting cheese and it's one of the original quiche cheeses with quiche Lorraine. They ended up Absolutely. adding Gruyere to it so mm -hmm. there you go. It's Yes it's beautiful and nutty and delicious and then adding feta on top which we are both um, of Greek ancestry mm -hmm. and of course love feta. Gotta love the feta if you're Greek. So this it's is like a favorite combination optional. for us. So if you would whisk those yes, eggs yes, and then add the cream, we're gonna be in great shape. Broccoli is so healthy. It's one of the superfoods. And it's called a cruciferous vegetable, like, mm. like cauliflower. Mm -hmm. And so this is a great meal for your family, especially if you've got kids and you're trying to get your vegetables into your children if they don't like vegetables. This is a good way to do it because these cheeses are so delicious. Cruciferous actually means cross-bearing. Mm -hmm. It's not like, like a crucifix. That's correct, absolutely. That's um, true. <clears throat> Crucifer, the bearer of the, okay, so here we go. And eggs are really great for you. Um, they're high in omega-3 and protein. You've mm -hmm. got the calcium here with the half and half. So it is on the whole a pretty light and healthy quiche recipe. There you go, perfect. Just a little bit of ground black pepper on top. Now, I've not added any salt to this. Both of the cheeses are salty, especially feta, so you don't need the salt. Mm -hmm. A little bit of nutmeg on the top, and we are ready to go into the oven, 375 degrees to a preheated oven, for about 50 to 60 minutes. And when a knife comes out clean, you're all done. It's a beautiful, light, healthy, vibrant dish. And we and have one what all it looks ready like. for you to show you. Ta-da! It will come off the sides very easily. So it's a great snack any time of day or night. Absolutely. Great to bring to work for a work snack or lunch. Or a potluck. Absolutely. Whatever floats yes. your boat. I'm Alan Bass. And I'm Sophia Khan for Students Go Gourmet. Thanks so much for watching and have fun cooking. Mm -hmm.